All right, so what's going on guys? I just want to give you guys a quick update with mods for the bike. This week, I did go ahead and pick up a Bren tuning handheld tuner for the 2016 and up 959 Panigale. And the reason I went with this over a custom tune is because this allows you to flash maps yourself. So I can have a stock map that I can flash onto the bike if I need to take the bike to the dealer. And then when I'm done with that, I can bring the bike back home and flash my custom tune back onto the bike. Um, some people might say that a complete custom tune is better for the bike because what they basically do is they put your bike on a dyno connected to a computer and they tune your bike right then and there. Whereas this, you pretty much download uh, the, the stock tune onto the tuner, upload it to the computer, then email it to Bren Tuning and they do your custom tune for you, send it back, put it back on a tuner and put it back on a bike. So it can take some, you know, back and forth emailing for you to get the right tune for your bike. But with the 959, they've done so many of them. Um, I'm sure they pretty much have this bike down pat, you know, with the presets they have for the mods that's available for this bike. So that's why I went with this. Um, I already downloaded the stock map to the tuner and I sent it to them. Um, Yesterday was Thanksgiving. I sent it to them the day before Thanksgiving and um, they had me um, a tune back already in my email this morning. So I'm about to go ahead, download the tune to this and then go ahead and um, upload it to the bike. So we're gonna see what we got. All right, so I'm back at the computer and as you can see, the handheld tuner just plugs into the computer via USB. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and download the tune files from my email. You can see they sent it here. So I pretty much have the files saved on my computer. I have a couple of different folders for the tunes. I have a folder for the stock tune and then the folder for the custom tunes. So I have those downloaded and now I'm ready to go ahead and upload them to the tuner. So we just open the tuning software. And this does require a Windows PC. Um, I mostly use Mac, but I did keep this Windows PC around just for the kids and it happens to come in handy every now and then. So, you know, that's that. So we're gonna go ahead and upload. All right, so it's done. I got the two tunes installed on the flasher. Now I can go back to the bike and flash the ECU. Okay, so let's go do that. All right, so we're back at the bike and you can see I got the tuner connected to the diagnostic port. So we're just gonna go ahead, go through and try to get this thing flashed. So we're gonna go into the work menu, writing. And then you can see I have the factory tune. And then I go over and I have the custom tune. So we're gonna select the custom tune. All right, so it's saying connect the vehicle to a stabilized battery charger, whatever. I do have the, the battery tender hooked up. So now it's saying turn the key on is on communicating so turn the key off continue connect battery charger switch key on continue Fans just kicked on. You can 
see it's doing something to the dashboard. So the fans are going pretty much high speed. So this is why they want you to have it connected to a battery charger. Hopefully, um, this doesn't kill it because I only have it, you can see on the battery tender. And it seems like it's taking quite a bit of while to write. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and finish up and then I'm gonna come back. Okay, it's still going, it's really, really slow. And the fan is still on high speed. So I'm hoping that it doesn't die in the middle of the programming. I did just go for a, a, a nice road test. And it's cold as hell outside. It's about 38 degrees. Okay, it's getting towards the end. And it's been about, um, about four minutes so far. All right, so it's done. Battery didn't die. And it's saying to switch the key off. All right, I'm gonna press okay. Switch the key back on again. like to play a little back and forth game off and on off and on all right so writing to the ECU is completed all right and that's done so I'm just gonna go ahead and start the bike up actually I'm gonna disconnect it first unplug the battery chart tender first So that's it for this video. Uh, I'll probably take it out for a nice little uh, road test tomorrow when it's a little bit warmer. Right now it's dark and it's about 36, 37 degrees out. So tomorrow is still supposed to be cold too, but it'll at least be sunny. So yeah, um, I picked this up for about 600 bucks um, on a Black Friday sale. Um, they had like $100 off and then there was a, a forum code that you could use, duck forum. And that took like another hundred dollars off. So it's normally like 800 bucks and I got it for about $600 uh, plus shipping. But the other thing that's good about this is uh, when your, your maintenance comes up, you can use this to, uh, if you like, let's say you do your oil, oil change yourself, you can use this tool to uh, plug it in and you can reset the maintenance light yourself. So you don't have to go all the way to the dealer um, pay whatever they charge just to reset the light. You can do it yourself with this tool. And then, like I said, you can also use this yourself to uh, uh, switch your maps back to stock and back to custom when you got to go to the dealer. You don't have to go to the dyno tuner and, you know, have him pay whatever it is to, to have the tuner do it. Um, they also let you email um if you have any problems with the tune and they can make any tweaks that you need um, right online. And like I said, this bike, they've done so many of them. It should be good right out the box. So we'll find out tomorrow. Uh, but for now, that's it for this video. I'll check y'all out on the next one. Peace.